Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have big time news and leaks about the newest part of Team of the Season that EA is introducing this year in FC24. And there are so many cards coming for live Team of the Season, guys. We also know a little bit more about the schedule, when we might see these cards, and how they're getting upgraded. Guys, with the players that are leaked and just the whole circumstantial evidence surrounding this, just seems like EA is trying to bring this game back. Can Team of the Season save FC24? We're going to talk about that a little bit today. And of course, look forward to today's content on Sunday. The Encore Icon and Hero are both going away. What's going to replace them? And what other upgrade packs are we going to get for Tots Warm Up Series? We're going to cover all that and more as usual on the video today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we get into the what's happening... Today, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Daily reminder, don't forget to do your daily login upgrade, day 2 of 12 to get that objective done. We had more upgrade packs yesterday, and we started off with our favorite upgrade pack, or at least I think the community's favorite, the 83 times 10 3 times per day uh, repeatable is the same requirements as always an 83 rated squad with an inform you're basically at the very minimum getting back except for the inform what you put into this it is a really really good craft the question is though do you save them or do you continue to open at least some of them i think the way i'm going to go about this is i'll try to take at least one or two of these and save them per day at least save one per day and add it to the pack stash for team of the season but i'm still trying to craft other player species like the two new showdowns that we had yesterday and myself personally still working through mia ham a lot of you might be working through ronaldinho and maybe the new zambrata that just came out so I think that SBC, it's okay to open it. Even though there's not that much in packs, it's still going to give you chances at higher rated fodder, which you can put into exchanges and also do other SBCs like Team of the Week player picks. This SBC unlocks the menu grind really well. So I do believe it will be a good SBC to actually still open up on this game. Now, speaking of informs, they were required in that 83 times 10. And since we're watching fodder prices very carefully, we'll check these out straight away. Informs, I think, were 25K at one point or maybe even 26 yesterday for a very short amount of time they are back to about 23 24 k but i still think there's potential here i've got a couple on my transfer list i'm not invested fully by any stretch of the imagination but i think there's still more sbcs that could be coming out that maybe require informs and they could go up a bit if you have those and you're invested in those definitely be lazy listing them right now probably around of like 30 29 30 000 coins you might be able to get some lazy sales there if you invested in the informs and we'll talk more about fodder here in just a second after we look at this 82 times 11 efigs upgrade guys this is the SBC that I expected to drop yesterday and it did now I'm a little bit bummed that we can only do this one time every two days it is repeatable every two days it's an 85 squad for an 82 times 11 it's one of those packs for sure this is one that you save this is not like the 8310 where you want to open it this is a 100 percent save type of pack for the live team of the season or beyond uh that is upcoming that's kind of what this is for right and again the 85 rated squad it's okay it's 30,000 coins to do Will you get that value back from opening this pack? Maybe not, but packs like this that we know were meant to save, like during Team of the Year, we saw this, right? They're always a little bit more expensive and inflated because there's that FOMO feeling there with those. Now, with this SBC coming out, that 85-rated squad, we did see some increase in prices on the 85s just a little bit, the 86s just a little bit, and mostly, honestly, the 87s. Guys, because right now, the cheapest way to do an 85-rated squad out of pocket is to use a few 87s and then the rest of the squad, the discard 84s. And I think everybody has plenty of 84s right now. And 83s from 83 times 10s, the 84 sevens that were out. And uh, you put in a couple 87s. If you actually look at the cheapest solution for this SBC on Footbin, it is a few 87s with some 84s involved inside of it, not even using 85s and 6s. And you can see yesterday, these cards went from 8,000 coins. And after content, they've gone from 8.5k up 1,000 coins. I honestly think these could continue to go a little bit higher uh, because especially for this 82 times 11, they are in demand and they could go even higher for other SBCs that come back today, right? Part of yesterday's demand for those cards as well definitely could be attributed to the uh, Encore Hero and Icon. I believe they refreshed yesterday. So more people closing out on these and doing these SBCs 
And of course, fodder is always a good investment like we've been talking about when less people are opening packs. And a lot less people are opening packs right now because there's only the best of Team of the Week in packs, which is probably one of the most frustrating things about this promo as a whole. So that's kind of the fodder situation. We'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of the video as well. Now, not to be overlooked, we had two player SBCs, another showdown released yesterday as well. I love these showdowns. I can't lie because they're for games that are very, very hype. We're looking forward to Champions League games this upcoming week. The second leg, right? Road to the final upgrades on the line and now showdown upgrades on the line as well. For Arsenal and Bayern Munich, we've got Eric Dyer. As a Spurs fan, I don't think I've ever used Eric Dyer in FIFA, ever. And now I have an opportunity to use a card that honestly doesn't look too bad, especially if he's able to get the upgrade. 150, 160,000 coins to this card. It's tempting me. I'm probably going to get it done. Um, will they win? I don't know. They're at home. It's going to be a good game. It is a very decent card. I mean, 85 pace, 90 defense, and 93 physical straight up. He is lengthy, full lengthy, and 88 sprint speed. Um, and he does have aerial and bruiser. I wish he had anticipate. I always look for that play style, but I still think he can be a very good in game. And Trossard, I think Trossard is one that a lot of people are excited for. He has got rapid plus and Trivella plus, but his other play styles like technical, long ball, power shot, and whipped pass are also very, very good. His stats look really nice. Great dribbling, solid shooting, decent passing. And, of course, good pace. He can play striker at left wing and center forward. And he's got that five-star weak foot. And, of course, you think about if Arsenal outright win this second leg, no matter what the aggregate score says, if they win the second leg, this card goes to a 91 rated. And you're talking really, really good, almost team of the season-esque stats. And, guys, the best part about this SBC yesterday, these two SBCs, we have yet again... The Showdown Boost Evo, Showdown Winner's Boost Evolution that has come back. And there's a lot of opportunity here again with this one. The new Dyer, the new Mukiele, the Sergio Roberto, Trossard, even Alexandro Caputo, Jensen, or Haller. All of this, how many is that? It's like eight Showdown cards that we have had in the past couple of days. The winners from those Showdown games, when those cards get upgraded, will be available to fit into this Showdown Winner's Boost SBC. But oh wait, there's more. If you have other Showdowns that you did not boost the first time around, like if you went for a Kanji, you didn't do Felix. I didn't do a Kanji and I did Felix, right? That exact same situation. Maybe if you did Bastoni and you wish you would have done a Kanji, you've got another opportunity. Or maybe it's like Benton Core, somebody who was upgraded too late to fit into the Winner's Boost Evo. I think he was at least last time around. You have an opportunity to boost them up. A nice simple plus one for any of the showdown winners. So I'm going to save this evolution uh, until we see who ends up winning these uh, latest showdown matchups that have been dropped. But there are so many great options there. If you guys missed out on some of those, or maybe if you just want to see some of the other ones, if you any of you guys did the Ajax showdown from a couple of weeks ago, Carlos Forbes, five-star skills, four-star weak foot with technical first touch, 95 pace and 93 dribbling. Uh, that's a insane looking card. The Labat cut card is new. Um, the Joao Felix, the Bastoni, of course, very, very popular. Marius Wolf, you know, out there as well. So there's not a ton of options in this Evo, but there will be more coming soon because of the fact that there are showdowns in this game that will be upgraded soon this next week, maybe early next week, about a week from now. We'll see some more upgrades on those cards um, and we'll be able to put them in the evolution. So that was content from yesterday. And of course, we cannot forget about the real point of today's video, guys, is talking about more things related to team of the season. Because I said in yesterday's video, guys, that if there were news and leaks about team of the season that these leakers guys that they had, they weren't going to hold on to them for too long because we're all rich ready. We're just ready for team of the season to like be here now. OK, and I'm even feeling more so that way, even feeling more so that way with the leaks that we had yesterday and all the conversation around team of the season live cards. The player selection is crazy, guys. I think EA is trying to save this game. That is how I just I just sense it. It seems like they're going all out with the player selection uh, with the first team of the season promo cards that we will see in packs. They're still not added in here into the game. I check every time we talk about them on the video. They're still not added yet in here to the game. But let's take a look at the leaks and talk about these cards because there are there's like a whole team and a half of players that have been leaked 
on this game right now. Team of the Season Live Modric. First card leaked that I want to show you today. Um, wow. Modric had many special cards, of course. His Team of the Year SBC, which was very, very overpriced. Um, that one is fresh in people's minds. But the Road to the Knockouts from earlier on this year as well. His Trevellas were absolutely insane. He is the live, or one of the live Real Madrid Team of the Season players. So that's big. He's going to have a card coming very, very soon. Alan St. Maximin. Guys, we're going to fly through the players here. There's so many players that are leaked. Alan St. Maximin, huge, right? He had the flashback SBC during uh, Black Friday Thunderstruck promo that was so, so good. This card's going to be nuts, and it will be, of course, live and upgrading. Here's a few more leaked players. Bruno Fernandez. This basically confirms as well, any player that is getting into this promo is not getting a real team of the season card. And again, guys, just to explain, if you're like, Nate, why does Modric or Bruno get a Tots? It's different again, right? These aren't actually cards they're getting because they played good during this last season. These are live cards that will upgrade based on how the club that the player represents plays during these last couple of weeks of the regular season for these clubs. So Bruno Fernandez is getting a card. I think the three play style plus thing right now is just a prediction. It is not um, confirmed. I think it is just a prediction, guys. All of these cards say that stats are a prediction. Sobel Sly, as well as getting a card for Liverpool. That's going to be a really, really good card. His radioactive and some crazy evos people have made this year of him look really good. Uh, if you're a Benfica fan, Otamendi is getting another card as well. He is going to be the live card representing Benfica. All right, let's keep looking through the list, guys. We got crazy amounts of cards to talk about. Well, before we do that, let's talk about how these cards upgrade, actually, guys. The Tots Live Upgrade Path was also leaked yesterday. So these cards are going to be coming out. They're going to get released as live cards. It's very similar to Road to the Final, and we'll explain that in a second. Every two wins, or I guess the first two wins that they get, uh, they will get a plus one overall. And if they score eight goals in the four league games that will take place for these upgrades, um, they will also get another plus one. So it's very similar to like Road to the Final, but it also has aspects of fantasy as well. For the goals, right? In fantasy, it was 11 goals um, over a certain number of games. This is eight goals over the next four games, uh, which actually seems a lot more doable than 11 uh, for fantasy, which is nice. And then two wins, that's pretty doable as well. It's a plus two potential upgrade here, and the eligibility for these upgrades starts this Friday. Guys, this confirms that this promo of live team of the season is going to come out before community tots before any other team of the season cards come out these are going to be the cards that we see in packs this upcoming friday i know it's five days away it's the end of this week it's a long way away right but that is the next promo that is the first kind of team of the season cards that we are going to see in this game so campaign start boost hit here and then plus two boost potential for two wins and eight goals in the remaining four league matches that happen after Friday, April 19th, when these cards first go live. So kind of like I mentioned, it's similar to Road to the Final, where the player doesn't get any specific boost for playing well themselves. They can contribute to the wins and to the goals, but it's all about the club scoring goals and winning in the next four league matches. Now let's take a look at a few more of the leaked cards. We've already seen Doku, right? We talked about that in yesterday's video. That's massive. Barca fans, a special Rafinha card is coming for you. Um, yeah, here's one thing I mentioned about these cards as well, guys. These rating boosts that you see, you're like, wait, Nate, a lot of these are like plus ones or twos over their most recent special card. I can't imagine that these cards are going to be that high rated. I know we've got Modric 94. Maybe that's possible, right? I could see some underwhelming upgrades happening for these cards off of their most recent special cards in the game. It depends on the player, of course. But since they are live cards, EA's not going to juice these up to be like super crazy, crazy cards straight off the bat. They'll give them a good stat boost, but I don't think we can expect to see players get crazy, crazy stat boosts because they're also alive and they have the potential to get higher rated boosts. And it's only four league matches. So you're talking about three, four, five weeks from now when you'll start to see these upgrades potentially fully take place. So EA wouldn't want to uh, boost the power curve too much right away. So I wouldn't expect these cards to be like insanely high rated just to kind of put that out there. Kudus is coming as a live tots for West Ham. There's another big name player who hasn't had a ton of promos this year. And Vasquez, another Madrid player. So we've got Modric and Vasquez. I'm a, a little unsure why we have two for Madrid. If one of those is incorrect, that would be a 
that'd be disappointing if one of those is incorrect. But uh, Vasquez is, is leaked as well. John McGinn for Villa. This will be really cool. I think uh, John McGinn had a Tots card a couple of years ago. I don't think it was last year. It might have been a couple of years ago. That was a really good cheap beast. And uh, we'll be definitely keeping an eye on how Aston Villa do. This card with upgrades could be very, very good as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I think he might be pretty cheap as well. And Zaha, he had a radioactive card earlier on this year. He is going to be the live card upgrading for Galatasaray's form. Um, man, he had a community tops card. I think it was like FIFA 21. That was absolutely insane. I don't know if you guys remember that. It might have been FIFA 22. That Tots Zaha was crazy. And then Fulham's live card is my left back, Jedi Robinson. Um, which is kind of interesting because a lot of people thought that he would actually have a chance to get into regular team of the season, like actual tots. And if a card is getting into this promo, once again, like we've been mentioning, I doubt they actually get a real team of the season card. So Jedi Robinson, tots live player, probably not in the actual team of the season. Last couple of leaks, Hiccupy from Leverkusen. Man, he had um, a couple crazy cards. He gets a crazy card at the end of the year, every single year. He had a level up last year. He had a fantasy FC a couple years before that. Uh, so that card's coming. And then, of course, we have Mikel Marino. He's going to be Real Sociedad's card. And one more, we have another Bissac. We just had a pretty crazy Bissac in Future Stars that a lot of people were excited about. Um, but he is getting a Tots Live card as well. He will upgrade based off the form of Inter. Last leak that we have right now is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I think Ruben Loftus-Cheek maybe had a Tots Moments card last year as well, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong on that. Um, but he is getting a card here very soon as well. Those are all the leaked players that we have right now for Tots Live. It's weird to think about, guys. Again, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. That Wait, it's Tots cards that aren't performance-based. It's all about their clubs and how they play. So just really think of it as like a combination of fantasy FC cards and Road to the Finals. But it's happening during team of the season when we're going to have all the TOTS cards that come out after that. So those cards are once again coming this Friday. That is basically all but confirmed. And that is so many players leaked already. Um, we'll get probably some more news about how the schedule is going to work out. Um, there is this tweet as well uh, that right now we have TOTS warm up, daily SBCs. It sounds like he's saying more icon SBCs are going to be coming as well. Watch out for that. And then, of course, he says this next Friday, the TOTS live cards will be out. Uh, TOTS cards with the possibility of upgrades. We still have, again, the TOTS plus cards, which we don't know what those are. And then the regular team of the season and team of the season moments as we know them. So crazy leaks, crazy player selection, uh, live cards, man. I think EA... EA has released more live card promos this year than they have any other year. And I think we like live cards. I don't think anybody dislikes live cards. Well, number one, they're great for investments. Number two, it's kind of just like another way to gamble on this game. Uh, not that we all love to gamble, but it's kind of just like an extension of packs, right? People really love packs. People also love the opportunity for the card that they can either pack or buy off the market to potentially go up in rating and become a better card in game. If their player, of course, hits those thresholds and hits that criteria to get the upgrades. I think this is one way where EA is trying to bring some hype in a new way to team of the season. Because again, I see the comments in the videos, guys. I know not everybody has loved this year's game. And in all the aspects that it is of this game with the gameplay, it has been frustrating. And I think it's made some of the other parts of the game frustrating as well. Like the menus and the mistakes that EA have made, it kind of just amplifies those with our frustrations about gameplay being where they are. Um, and a lot of people have not been happy with this game this year. Totally understand the sentiments like all year long, but especially since team of the year, I feel like that's been a very, very common thing. People have not been very happy, um, but I think EA is they're going to do their best guys to make team of the season as hype as it can be and that's just uh that's just obvious by the fact they're releasing live cards during this promo we've never seen live team of the seasons before who in the world knows what tots plus cards are as well so at least they're trying we'll see how it actually comes out we'll see how it actually feels in the game but uh, at least right now it seems exciting because live tots cards just sounds fun so with that being said how's the market i was just clicking through a couple of special cards there is there more panic selling after we've seen these leaks and this news and this information um, and the content yesterday as well? The market's honestly, 
it's just kind of stagnant. I feel like it's just kind of chilling. It's in its same similar spot to where it has been. I was just looking through some of the Golasso cards that went up a lot, as we talked about in yesterday's video. Um, Park Ji Sung, still inflated in price. Roberto Carlos, still up. Kaká, Drogba, Viali, Jardinho, Cordoba. I could go through this whole entire team and look at all the cards and basically... They're all up. I mean, Golazo team number one as well. A lot of these cards are still inflated in value. Um, Alawayron is up. Prince is up over 10,000 a card. Sol Campbell still 400K. Okocha, I was selling him for like 98K. He's now 120. Van Persie's up a bunch. Um, even foot birthday cards like seem to be holding their prices pretty well. Mudrick is like down a little bit. I noticed that a few cards dropped a little since yesterday, but this could be potentially people selling Mudrick because they want to go use Trossard maybe. I don't know. Um, I think if I saw this Mudrick for 405 though, I'd be pretty tempted to buy it. Not sure if I'm actually going to be able to get that, but that's uh, I think I would be careful with the market right now because we've had a nice rise during the weekend. I know this promo isn't that crazy, but when is the switch going to flip again where we have more people excited about saving packs and getting ready for TOTS live cards to actually be released? And maybe where we see some less buying power on the market with better content maybe coming today as well. I think I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. I didn't trade like at all yesterday. I uh, literally just lazy sold uh, some of the fodder that I had like that KDB. And I still have a couple pages of informs here. Really not that much. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how the market's reacting. I think you might see more market reaction today depending on what content is. Let's talk about that. Today, Sunday content. Of course, you start off the day with squad battle rewards. Not that that's going to impact the market too much. It might be if you need SBC fodder, squad battle rewards today might be a really good time to get on bids for 85s, 6s, and 7s. Not that there's great packs, again, released there. Same thing for informs too. Maybe a good time to get on bids if you want to stock up your club early today after those rewards are put out. Just a little shout there. Um, but guys, today on uh, Sunday content, we didn't see a cup yesterday, right? And I'm a little surprised because a TOTS warm-up cup has been advertised on the main menus right here when it wants to load. Um, and if you're going to drop a cup for TOTS warm-up, then hopefully it's going to happen pretty soon before a warm-up series is over, right? Well, maybe that's going to be today. So watch out for a cup. The same things we mentioned yesterday about whatever the requirements are, maybe moving the market a bit, the most hype cards for that. If it's like a lower rating, that could move some things today. So watch out for that. Hopefully it's like unlimited games and not that many wins. I think that could be coming today. And then we still have more SBCs, guys. They say here again, daily upgrade SBCs, daily 10 coin packs in the store. Um, apart from the daily login and stuff like that, yesterday our daily upgrade SBC, I think, was the 82 times 11. That's related to like the e-figs, related to the team of the season, pack save type of promo vibes. I think today could be the 85 times two. The 85 times two e-figs could be dropped today. That's just my guess. And if you're going to try to stock up on some fodder for an 85 times two, um, the 85 doubles earlier on in the year was an 82 and an 83 rated squad, almost the exact same requirements as a team of the week player pick. Although it would be e-figs this time around, which could maybe mean they would make it a little more expensive. So if you're going to invest for that SBC today, if you think you're going to gamble on that a little bit, I would say the 85s and the 86s, and if 87s drop at all, you know those are in demand for sure. If the 87s drop back down below 9K, I would say like, man, if 8,500 would be lovely. I don't know if they're going to go that low again. Maybe like 8.7 if you want to grind it out on some bids, those could move. I think the 87 to the 89 rated fodder though, those prices will hinge more upon do, do we get an 88 plus Encore or... Um, Encore Hero or Encore Icon player pick re-released. If we don't get one of these re-released, those could drop a little bit. But if we do get it, or maybe even a better player pick, those could potentially go up a little bit more as well. Again, less people are opening packs, but when an Icon pick pick comes out that people want to do, they're going to go ahead and do it. So that's one thing I'd watch out for today. We'll get something, guys. You know what Sundays are, right? It's a day where the Icons and the Heroes come out. Maybe they'll do the unlimited uh, repeatable ones. Maybe they will just uh, re-release the same ones that we have just had with these Encores recently. I don't know. We will just have to see. But I would imagine that they keep it going. The other thing that I would mention is... There could be another showdown today, guys, because they've been dropping showdowns like basically every single day for the past three or four days, three days now. Um, why, why not make it for EA Sports? Let's look at like Europa League games. Um, Milan, Roma had that second leg. Um, you've got, of course, uh, Liverpool that are down right now. you got Leverkusen. you got West Ham. There could be a Europa League or a Conference League related um, 
you know, showdown today. That's just a guess because there has been two Champions League related showdowns back to back. If we're going to get one today, it could be Europa League or Conference League related. That's just a shout if we're going to get player SBCs. And then I guess there's always the outside shot for an icon player SBC too. If Zambrato was dropped with no leaks, then what's to say like, I'm mean, this is an example, not a leak at all, but what's to say this Abili might not be dropped it's an sbc like it's, somebody could also be an icon released today as a player sbc as well so a lot going on in this game it's kind of just like work in its own right to try to stay up to date with all the daily logins and getting all this stuff done and getting all the sbcs done um for sure also i'll, I'll shout this as well it's not a bad time to like log in get some packs done and like take a little bit of a break from this game might not even be a bad shout too before a team of the season to like minimize your grind a little bit just because we're getting ready to inject ourselves into one of the craziest grinding times of the year with tots cards and all that is going to be out so just for like a mental health state maybe it's login do your daily login craft a couple of packs maybe chill on the gameplay a bit Get a couple of evos done if you want to but like maybe keep it low key before we get into the real grind of team of the season that's just kind of uh, a thought that i had there i'm going for a player pick here i'm gonna go for the highest rated one and it literally doesn't matter i'm gonna go with mancini here i don't think any of those cards can be evolved at least into a good evo and uh yeah i am still saving a good amount of packs here i've got 83 tens i, I mean i do have some like I want to open this exchange pack. I want to open some of these other ones. The 84 sevens are going to be saved. This 82 20 is probably going to be saved as well. Um, but I'm still trying to finish off the Mia Ham SBC. And um, we'll probably do the Eric Dyer. I'm going to, I can't not do Eric Dyer. The first ever usable Eric Dyer card in this game. I will be there. I will 100% be there. But I'm going to still do 80 plus player picks, 83 plus team of the weeks. The menu grind is still decent. Even with not a lot of packs, it's still worth it to open those, in my opinion, to keep the SBC craftability moving and to uh, enable yourself to get those fodder cards needed for maybe some of the more upgrade packs that are coming today. So hopefully today is a W day. Bring a good upgrade pack, a good cup EA Sports, and surprise us with something like a showdown or maybe um, the icon, icon player picker and icon SBC is pretty good. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the video tomorrow and maybe a stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace out.